Cause it changes up the taste a lot And it doesn't mix well with the grain It's 2014, an election year in South Africa This means the world over, politicians are seen out in public getting tough on drugs The public were told to snitch on their neighbours Roadblocks increased And the newspapers reported bust after bust with glee We'd like to talk about all these arrests. Prosecuting and jailing all these people is enormous. Did it change anything? Did anyone learn anything? Or was it just the politicians using your tax money to promote their agenda? According to the Drug Watch website, there were 23,000 arrests in 12 weeks for a range of street drug offences. Those arrests cost the taxpayer an estimated 38 million rand and netted 13 million rand in substances. We wonder how much of that dacha went straight back into circulation. Fully 99% of those arrests were dacha users. These stats were published by the Anti-Drug Alliance in 2013. The ADA are no fans of Dacha or any other substances, but understand there has to be another approach to South Africa's ever-increasing drug consumption. Any substance can be potentially addictive. We're anti-addiction at the end of the day. The substance action really doesn't matter to us. So how come it costs so much to clean up the streets? To understand that, you have to understand the prohibition system. These mostly non-violent young Dacha users are now fed into the system. Our statistics are rock solid. We use published uh, documents from various government departments, as well as press release material directly from SAPS and Crimeline for our figures. It costs 2 million rand to arrest 23,000 suspects and a further 8 million rand in man hours to keep these suspects in jail overnight. Over 15 million rand in investigating officers' time and a further 10 million for the court proceedings. That's nearly 40 million rand. What would you do with 40 million rand? 40 million? With 40 million rands, we would establish a national network to address the social economic, health, education, and the spirituality of the Rastafari people. It is time to build churches and schools and develop rural land for all Rastafari people. The persecution of the Rastafarians for their use of the Holy Help have gone on for so long. My grades got high, but my paper's not. Sucks because it's. I don't know why the one wanted to put me in there. No, okay, this is, this is our crew here waiting for us. We've got to get to the next place at the Dara Center. Uh, no problem, we can continue. Thank you very much. No, I want the license, but I can't just stop you. No, no, my license is in the cut. Ross, yeah, my license is in. Oh, yes, you want to get the SMK or the OCB because I like my friend and my lungs don't bleed in my head. Don't you think it is a fundamental human right to put into your body what you choose to? The Rastafari are the most persecuted of Dakar users in South Africa, the easiest of targets and the most gentle of cultures. If South Africans were free to use this plant, responsibly as adults in their own homes without fear of arrest or imprisonment, maybe South African society would become less violent. I changed the grade, so I changed my ways like I changed my brain. The day I got laid by me. What would you do with 40 million rand? With 40 million rand, I would multiply it by investing in a proven sustainable green industry. I'll invest in an industrial cannabis company, better known as him. By doing this, I'll be creating over 3 million 
hemp related jobs over a five year period through hemp industries such as housing and construction, nutrition, cosmetics, clothing, biofuel, paper, animal fuel and bedding, just to name a few. So give him the 40 million rand instead. Let us all benefit. Join the industrial cannabis revolution now. Buy him. What would you do with 40 million? To keep the chain replaced. Mary says money's just time and space. Yo, 40 million rand, man, the things that I could do. I'd post bail for the kids that were wrongfully accused. I'd educate the masses and those folks without a clue about cannabis, its qualities, and the things that it can do. Because I've seen cancer die and people survive. Because they utilize what this earth provides. And here in SA, we got the perfect climate to see communities rely on a herd to thrive. But still, we gotta ask is it any wonder we don't utilize hemp in a steady abundance? It's another way to hold back people. Because you can't have wars if your soldiers are peaceful. We'd see wars declining all across the land if everyone decided to ask the man, yo, what's the deal? And what's the plan? It starts with dialogue. We need to talk about the solutions and stop dwelling in what is seen as the problem. Legalization is the only alternative that is going to save countless lives. South African industrial cannabis sector is shamefully behind the world's powerhouse economies. The UK, France, Canada, the USA and even China have got very vibrant industrial cannabis sectors. The way we see it, South Africa is an ideal geography and climate to grow any form of cannabis. It's prolific. And as you can see from a hundred years of failed prohibition, you can't keep a good ducker bush down. What would you do with 40 million rand? I'd pump it all into medical research. People all over the planet treat and cure themselves of chronic illness with cannabis. Peer-reviewed studies are proving cannabis to be effective treatment for many types of cancer. Sucks cause it changes up the taste a lot and it doesn't mix well. Cannabis is a highly effective medicine. It can relieve and cure a large range of diseases. Pharmaceutical companies already have patents on the plant and are prescribing cannabis medicine worldwide. It's time to legalize this plant. South African medicine for South Africans. Back home and it's time to feed. Sort the stems and I search for seeds. Then I hit my couch and I do What would you do with 40 million rand? 40 million is a drop in the ocean. 40 million is a drop in the ocean. Duncan legalization offers far greater advantages from recreational use, you know, medicinal use, and industrial applications. The job creation potential is almost immeasurable. With Dhaka having over 50,000 industrial applications, well, South Africa is really one of the top three producers of marijuana in the world. While well, the Dhaka tourism is set to generate billions of tax. Look at our brothers in Uruguay. We took the bold step to legalize cannabis. That's for all of you prescribed to the notion that third world countries or developing nations can't make autonomous decisions. It is possible. The evidence for cannabis having a multitude of medical applications is indisputable and overwhelming. Dacha is abundant in South Africa. Why are we not allowed to use it? The drug wars are warned people, not drugs. This figure of 40 million we've been talking about doesn't include any convictions. South Africa has a conviction rate of only 9%. How can it be that in a country like Israel, at the forefront of medical cannabis science, have 12,000 state patients using DACA, and in America, tens of thousands of people queue up every day for their medicines? That's the case then. Out of 23,000 arrests, just over 2,000 would get a criminal record in the jail sentence. So if you throw one year jail into the mix, the figure reaches a mind boggling 245 million rand. What are the alternatives? Well, right now, it's easier for a teenager to get dacha than beer. Nobody's looking for an ID. 
As crazy as it sounds to some of you, the only way to control the use of the Dacher plant is to set it free. The hash and I don't take hits when they smoke their trash. Then I grab my blades and I make the dash. I'm twisted, wrecked, I'm spent, I'm lashed. Smoke OCD and SNK. I'm going up.